Rem TV and welcome back to my LB franchise in the New York Mets. This is episode 28. Uh, so if you guys are caught up, look for a place to my channel. And here we are for this uh, July 4th game against the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. We're going to be in Toronto. It's going to be Zach Wheeler who's 4-2 against Aaron Sanchez who's 8-4. The 45 and 40, we're 54 and 30. Look for a 55th win. Uh, we are still leading the uh, NLE, so you know it's. You just gotta win the important games. I mean, the I think it's the Nationals that are right behind us. They're eight or nine games behind. So I mean, we have a little we have a little leeway between us, but we just gotta stay consistent and keep winning games. And we're gonna again put David right in there. And it looks like everyone's pretty rested up, so it's gonna be a uh, interesting game. Um, only because this is my first one with the D8, so I have to really play around the lineups. But I'll see you guys in Toronto. Three and two to Devin Travis. Throws. That's gonna be first out of the game. I think it was the lineups for the Blue Jays. After he walks back to the dugout. Here we go. It's lineups like this. It's Devin Travis, followed by Aaron Hicks, Josh Donaldson, Justin Smoke, uh, Yang Garris Solarde, Randall Greitruck, Steve Pierce, Tulowitzki, and Russell Martin in the ninth spot. Two and two to Smoke. Swing and a miss on a curveball, inning over. Now that the first inning's over, I just want to say, if you like what, if you like what you're seeing right now, Click the thumbs up button, leave any comments below. Uh, I'm trying to get at least three to five likes for this video, so yeah. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell. Uh, I'll tell you whenever I come out with a new video. And uh, let's resume our game. And that is out of here for Jay Bruce. That was down the middle. No doubt about it. Home run for Jay Bruce. It is 1-0 here in the second inning. Going 441 feet. That is number 16, and he just absolutely bombed that. I think as soon as I pressed the X button, I knew it was gone. Uh, Mickey Callaway, enjoying it. What a monster shot. Let's see a little show track stats here. Exit velocity of uh, 800, 108 miles per hour. Launch angle of 26 degrees, and it just hit that little back area in the Rogers Center. What a hit by Jay Bruce. Back to back foul balls for Steve Pierce. 3 and 2 count, 2 outs here in the second, and. Got him looking with a curveball inning over. What a stop to give David Wright out of first base. Good diving play, but a second baseman. Wow. But no drives it to deep right field. It's going to be a double. It's going to hit off the wall. And that is another double for Travis Darno, and he's been a doubles machine this year. Especially for somebody that's not expected to hit this well. Travis Darno having himself a year, as I always say in every video, because I feel like he's always delivering every time I play with him. That is another double for Travis Darno. Full count of Travis. It's gonna be a double play ball. Out at second. Out at first. That's a double play for the Mets. That's a big double play for Zach Wheeler. Full count to the kid. Conforto. That's a probably also another home run. Deep driving to deep right field. And it's out of here. That is a solo home run for Michael Conforto. That's number 22 of the year. Going 396 feet. I just had a feeling as soon as he made contact off the bat that I was going to be out of here. So now the Mets are up 2 nothing Here at the top of the fourth. No outs. And Fordham makes it home. And the righty-lefty matchup pays off for the Mets. That's a good level swing. Fordham drives to deep. Right center field. He's going, runner. A hit and run for David Wright is going. And that moves Brandon Nimmo to third base. 
So it's two men on one. Uh, runners on the corners. It's no out for the Mets. They were going the opposite direction. That hit and run play. It's a full count, so why not? And that's that. Base hit by the captain. This should be enough to drive him home. That's going to be a sacrifice for Ahmed Rosario. It's going to be three to three nothing. Mets here in the fifth inning. The hit and run play definitely paid off for the Mets as the lead gets a little bit bigger. Oh, he's testing Sassipa's arm and he is going to be. Oof! Close play. That is a double for Grychuk. For the uh, Blue Jays, that's the first extra base hit of the game. And that was just really close. Testing Cespedes' arm. That was a lot closer than I thought. That is a fielder's choice. And it's going to be 3-1. to one. Blue Jays as Tulowitzki driving him in. And that is a no-doubter for UNS Cespedes. That is the Mets' third home run of the game. And it's 4-1 to one Mets. Going 406 feet, number 25 of the year. And the Mets are cooking. It is home run derby here in Rogers Center for the Mets. Even though they're just a bunch of solo shots, it's enough for the Mets for this victory, I believe. So they're looking at a replay here as he meets Jay Bruce at home. And the MVP candidate continues to stay hot. He hits it to the left field stands for a souvenir. All right, man. Harvey's in, coming from the bullpen. Hopefully, not to screw this up. It's been a rough year for him, coming from an injury, then put in the bullpen. He starts off with a grado to Cabrera. That's a, not a bad start at all. Two and two. Josh Donaldson. You know he gets to hit the ball pretty well. And that is <laughs> a grand slam by Josh Donaldson. Matt Harvey giving up. I had all the faith in him to get out of the inning. And now the Blue Jays have a 5-4 to four lead. Oh, Matt Harvey. Oh, Harvey, man. Oh, it's going to be a base hit. This is going to drive home Jay Bruce. This is going to tie the game. And he's going to be... Wow, what a throw. He's out. Oh, my gosh. What a throw by the center fielder. I thought that was well enough to hit for uh, to tie the game. Oh, boy. The base hit the middle. And I'm going to run home again. Back to back plays where he's going to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Back to back outfield assists for the Blue Jays. Amazing. And that's a swing and a miss. Ball game over. And the Blue Jays came back with a grand slam by Josh Allenson. Oh, man. Oh, man. So that's a loss by Matt Harvey. He had three home runs. We blew it in the in the ninth inning even. We had two outfield assists. Oh, it sucks. Uh, but it's going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace. Wow, I said it really fast. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to be covering the next uh, simulations on until I get to the next game in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.